Hi guys, welcome to Trending GH right here on the Real TV. Another week, and we are here to talk about all the trends that happened right in Ghana and beyond. Make sure to hit the subscription button below if you haven't already subscribed. Now, which celebrity birthday had the whole nation talking for days? Who was arrested for doing what and who lost in the NPP primaries? We have all the details and all the sites and segments you don't want to miss right here on Trending GH. Don't forget to download the app Tap tap send to send money from europe to ghana the easiest and most convenient way of sending money to your friends and loved ones use the code amald to get five pounds or euros of your first transaction hi guys welcome it's another week we are here to bring you all the trends and the kokonsa from Ghana. Let's get started. <laughs> Hit the subscription button below. Okay, thank you. Today is a floral theme. Thingy going on. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> so guys, were you shook this week? <laughs> Did you feel the shaking? <laughs> what were your initial reaction though? I mean, what's your initial reaction, Z? When you when you felt the first you know, one, thing I was actually about to put my phone down and uh -huh. sleep, and then I heard the building shake so i was like ah what's going on then i quickly went on facebook and i typed that they didn't want like i just yeah, saw something yeah. they didn't want feeling and people started i was like okay then it's not I'll, one yeah you're not alone within two minutes <laughs> another, another <happened>. one yeah. <laughs> for me i was in the story building so then my initial reaction was hey those people up there did they break their bed <laughs> while i'm doing that thing so i looked up i was like okay and normal then I went back to my laptop. I was on my laptop. And then they happened again. I was like, mm hmm, nyameba. The world is coming. What is the last food I had? I don't want to go that way. Guys, tell us, how did you feel? What was your initial reaction? But there's been a lot of conversation about yeah. it. And apparently, it wasn't only Ghana that experienced it. Over 400 countries. countries yeah. I mean, New Zealand, 2020. Part of India. Los Angeles, a whole yeah. lot of And places. we we got the 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 smooth one apparently because it hits hard in some other countries and this whole year like <laughs> twenty twenty. <laughs> the funny thing about it is that you know when it happened in other countries, you could see live updates of mm -hmm. it, the magnitude, what mm -hmm. is happening, who mm -hmm. and what. Mm -hmm. Ghana made your mind why why. No, yes, but, funny, but it's not Gato met you. When this is not the Gato met you. Well, who is it? It's, um, they have um, they have a, an agency for it. They monitor earthquakes and all of that. Hey. They used to have an office around the way I'm sure their boss they was home. asleep. Wada, 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 because we didn't see any warning. There was nothing. Nothing. And, and the fact that people were not ready. I mean, in in case exactly. they came to be what what was what were, were people supposed to do and all of that. But. As other countries took the thing serious and were worried, Ghanaians, dear that be, you know, us, we find the joy in every worst situation. So, it has, yeah. it has become a, like, it has become our culture. Yeah. I mean, I feel like that's the only way you can survive through in, in Ghana. <laughs> especially in Ghana. So, guys, let's read some of the things that people had to say about, you know, the, <laughs> the earthquake <laughs> that happened. And the conversation about it being an earthquake or earthquake <laughs> or earth shake. Let's read some of the reactions <laughs> from people, social media, Twitter, everywhere. Let's, the let's first get one into that it. came immediately was the Nanaba own. She actually posted it herself. <laughs> Earthquake in Ghana. It means Nana but just sparks a ring over. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> what can come can come? <laughs> she don't suffer Nana back this week. Well, oh God. Someone also said, hey, what did I just feel? <laughs> F-I-L-L. And someone said, application for No, <laughs> Somebody said, who has felt the air trauma? <laughs> trauma. trauma. No. I think my favorite one is the one about Kumasi. Someone said, Kumasi people, it's at quick, <laughs> not at quick. <laughs> And there was another one of a, a photo of people standing and they are waiting for their, their version of the earthquake in Kumasi. I'm like, but the, the biggest of them all is <laughs> Akrobeto had to come inside this. <laughs> who knows tomorrow? <laughs> He's the one who sneezed. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> oh, 
my stomach. Oh god, yes. Guys, <laughs> no way, guys. This is how make it stop for this week. Yeah. So guys, the memes are okay. These are serious things happening. Right. What the hell? I'm with the Pepper World Cup. I'm with the cup. I'm with the cup. I'm with the cup. Countries are crying. People are scared. 2020. So if the world is ending, this is how... So, no, I was just imagining if this was the end. And people are on Twitter. Did you see Jesus come? Like, you yes, guys... Don't Jesus, so guys... The angels, did you see them trap? Guys, it looks like I'm the first to go. <laughs> guys, I made it. Make it stop, guys. Make it stop. That's our first story and first segment for this week. We'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. So we're jumping straight to our next story, which, mm -hmm. by the way, trended from the whole of last week, mm. and it is still trending this mm. week. And mm. hopefully, we we hope it ends this week. This this week is the finale. Of course, <laughs> if something <laughs> else comes again, dear, and yeah, throw the whole birthday away <laughs> <laughs> because hey. <laughs> so can I ban a mm. Girls, perfect. She turned 42 last week, I think Friday, right? Yes, she did. <laughs> <laughs> and the boy, oh boy. Mm. I wish everybody had a birthday like Nana. I know, right? Like, like the gifts. Even the, even the, the pre-birthday pre and the giveaways and everything. Challenge. It must be cool to be Nana. I know, right? It, must be really it cool. is really cool to be here. Yeah. So yeah, she woke up in the morning to a, you know, a musical performance from mm. Famille. Mm. You know, the gifts started trooping in once she mm. got to her office. Mm. People all over her bank. Hey. Fans. Hey. 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 Empty and hey. everywhere. Hey. Hey. Everywhere you go. And hey. Nana TV. Oh, Nana Bade. Nana Bade. Nana Bade. Nana Bade. No, it became so cold. Charlie, we were all waiting oh. for. We what we were expecting was some, you know, big birthday party. Right, but she actually knew, did a big yeah. one. But then the biggest of them all arrived. The unexpected. The unexpected. A a Range Rover was parceled. Hey, not be small boat. Charlie, mm. <laughs> and, and flowers. And flowers. It was like it felt like I was watching <laughs> Keeping Up with the Nana Best. <laughs> Right, yeah, cause keeping up with the GH1 TV ladies, yeah, because <laughs> now a episode upon episode it was coming layers upon layers, and the grand finale, and the grand finale, the Range Rover arrived. We were all excited, the ow, 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 we were all with excited. The no, without the nose mask, that's the nose mask, mm. and then all of a sudden, mm. five minutes after video, oh, it's too long, too <laughs> It's two minutes. Someone was able to go on the DVL. I think they have a short code. Yeah. Went on the DVL to check whether the number plate that was on the vehicle was actually registered. And of course, DVL is saying mm -mm. the car already has a number plate, which, which is, is a, a Nissan, Nissan Rogue. Yeah. And it became a whole lot of people started teasing and yeah. saying. I mean, I feel like no. even the conversation that came after the whole image of it being was that it's either they went to rent the car uh -huh. and just came to brand it for attention or <laughs> hey, I'm like, how can people even think like to that <laughs> extent? I'm like, it's a present. She was surprised she with was surprised. it. So, even if they want to do anything for attention, she they wouldn't stoop that low stoop for that the low. number. So, I mean, a lot of people felt that it was just people Social media is just being social media is just you of know course, trolling and yeah. looking for things to talk about. So we all just went to sleep thinking that oh we're in your shit. Well, what we don't yeah, know, uh, what we don't know is that you can register, you can use the same customized number plate for at least ten cars yeah. out here. Yeah. So when it came out, people took it from the angle and said, yeah. oh, it's probable that the owner, the person who sent her the vehicle already has that particular number plate and, and decided to use yes, it for, for all, all for the all, vehicles. Yes. And then the following day, ABC News went to DVLA to make inquiries and, you know, find out because it was making a whole lot of Yeah, everybody and, was talking about yeah, it. Yeah, then they said no. It's not registered. It's not registered. The only car that is registered with that number is the Nissan Rogue that people saw from the photo. And then DVLA quickly uh, issued a press statement saying that, you know, the car is not what, what, what. And then we thought it was going to end there. Nanaba finally spoke with Chris Vincent, mm -hmm. uh, blogger Chris Vincent. Mm. And then she opened up and brought out the whole story. Okay. So according to her, when the, uh, the car was bought from a dealership, Okay. And then the boys 
who prepared the car to be delivered for Nanaba okay. decided with, they, with their own conscience to okay. put a number plate on it. Oh, okay. So, that's so that they can drive it. You oh. see, you can't drive a car without... It has to be either a DVLA plate or a, a registered plate. Right. So they decided to put... Put, bring up something yeah because it was also 2020 exactly and then, yeah, yeah. so they decided to use it on their within their own mind the owner of the dealership was not aware oh it was the boys who worked there they did it so oh. and another person when she was at the office she didn't even know there was a presence coming right it was her friends i think sewa and probably empress the jamila other, yeah. jamila they informed her that oh there's a surprise coming and okay. she didn't even know. Okay. So when they came out and it was that surprise, yeah. she was happy and yeah. then she did, still didn't know the owner. Yeah, she doesn't so it know was, who brought Exactly. So it was when the buzz on social media started happening that the car was not registered, blah, blah, blah. And then somebody prompted her and said, hey, Nana, you are trending. You know? They are saying this and this. Then she forced Jamila to reveal, to reveal who, who brought the, the car. car. Oh. So they finally did and then she called the person and said, oh, Thank you for the guilt, but this, this is what is going is on. What is going on? Then the car owner now to the owner, the person the who sends the car the said, you know, it was the the she he called the dealership and this is and what the person he said. I was oh. the boys who rather put that plate there and brought it. A whole mess. A whole mess. For such a grand celebration. I know. For me, what was really a turn off with the whole thing was when the situation happened and people were trying to be like, eh, instead of you to tap into people's blessing. blessing. I'm like it's someone's birthday present and an issue has come and people are talking. This has nothing to do with people hating her or not wanting her to succeed. Hey, I had some nearby. See, tapping into blessing, no. Obi, I hope I saw a range over my patcho me and drew her. Me here, Kia Picanto. Thank you. So are you guys, sure? Are you sure? Yes. If I bring you a range over present, that's more. You shall get it. <laughs> So guys, that's all the details about Nana Bear's birthday and the birthday saga brought to us by Nana Bear's birthday. <laughs> Piero. Piero herself. Let us know what you, you think about the story and what you feel could have been done right mm -hmm. and all of that. Drop the comments in the comment section below. Let's move on to our next segment for this week, which is... What the F? What the F? See, I have never been so appalled <laughs> and shocked and disgusted by creativity <laughs> as, <laughs> as what I saw in the video. I'm like, <laughs> did, was, was there a photo? What, like, what? explain, explain, make it make sense, make it make sense. So basically, guys, <laughs> actress Jackie Apia has a fan. A very huge fan who has been stalking. I mean, that, that was the first time I've heard that in Ghana. In Ghana. That someone was stalking, stalking someone somebody. for seven, seven good months. Hey. Well, finally, they are stalking the yielded <laughs> results. They got, the, the, the gentleman got to meet Jackie. And then, even the demeanor and the way the guy was speaking, I'm like, but yeah, you're okay, yeah. yeah it's everything okay. This one, there yeah, is real. I mean, I was even scared. Like, so, when, you, when you listen to the video, eh, <laughs> the lady who was talking to him was like, So, you, you're looking for Jackie Apia. Mm -hmm. So, amongst us, can you point out the irony of the f matter is that, like, if you can see Jackie Apia, then you go and bring a, a painting that, that does not look like her at all. Like, that, like, was there even an image you were looking from or you were just drawing her from how you see her in your dreams when you sleep? <laughs> make it make sense because, guys, this photo, dear, what the F? Guys, but it's good that Jackie has, you know, gotten yeah. a restraining order for him because... Because this is serious. Very, this is, this yeah. is serious, but, I mean, what the F? <laughs> What the hell? Throw the whole painting away, Jackie. I'm sure she was that she took it. Human being that way. I'm sure as soon as she took it, she just went straight into the dumpster and just dropped the cause. Where the hell? You're fine, you're shit. What tongue crawl in your scar? I mean, what the hell, guys? Please, what the hell? We'll be back. Now, guys, let's move on to our next story for this week. And oh, I shall remember it's the tweet or then the beat. Then the beat. Then the tweet. Then the beat. So, guys, this is actually a very serious matter that yeah. you know need to be need to be taken with all seriousness. So, um, Kelvin Boy was invited by Electroland Ghana to their shop opening in Ashiaman, and he went. You know, he was about to get things started, things moving. And all of a sudden, 
Ashama macho men are there. They say, hey, who be you? Mm -hmm. What did they do for Ashama? I mean, come and chop slab, but the slab didn't come because... <laughs> Kelvin Boy was rushed out, but basically it was just it was just a whole situation that was not supposed to happen. Because yeah. if you have an issue with an artist disrupting their performance, is really not the way to go. I mean, yeah. there are so many ways to to vent your grievances or your whatever against the person, but yeah. going that way with violence was really unnecessary, and especially at a shop that is and being open in your in your community. community. I'm sure it's going to bring job to people right. around you, and it has like electricals. Imagine if something had gone, you know, south, and you know there was a you hole, had, you know, it, it, it was destroy yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Would you be able to foot the bill? Yeah, and it will probably even become. Kelvin Boyd, but our very own, you know, director extraordinaire was there and got us the exclusive. So you guys watch the video of how the whole thing happened and how Kelvin Boy was sacked, um, was okay. moved out of the situation. But after the whole incident, you know, he came on, he came on Twitter mm -hmm. and he had a lot of things to say, which I thought he shouldn't have said. You know, Kelvin Boy, like you we know, understand. He started saying the things before the vi actual videos of the. Oh, incident yeah. dropped. Yeah, because oh. I had already seen his tweet. Oh. And then people were like, ah, who are you shading? Who are you shading? Then the actual the footage yeah, came, came out. out. And then people were like, oh, so this is what he yeah. was referring to. But I feel like if, if, if there is something that happens, just... Tackle it head on. Don't you know try around you know beating you know, about the bush, yeah beating around drop, dropping some things yeah stuff. you know that you 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 clearly you know kind of make people know that you are talking about this particular right. person yes. especially when you and that particular person ended on a bad note. Yeah. I'm like boy, put some respect on whoever the person is name and put some respect on the brand that you are trying to build for yourself exactly. too. You know so yeah he said what he had to say and then. People had to respond because, mm -hmm. you know, when you make such, you know, tweets or you make such statements, you definitely are trying to mad the reputation and brand and of some And even the people. person who attacked him is currently not under employment in Stone Boy's camp. No, but even Stone Boy in the, in the, in the press release that Benetton uh, Music Group released says that neither was the person was okay. ever employed or is employed so the person is not even a formal bodyguard of stone boy according to the press, press release, release that was what was in the press release that the person is not an employee has never been an employee of stone yeah. boy so there is no way that their name should be you know attached, attached to, to whatever happened and i think the person who did that yeah, dropped the video and he was explaining why he did it which really didn't make sense it didn't like, make sense but apparently uh, calvin boy made some comments about ashama mm -hmm. and you know he's never to step foot today in ashama like do you own do ashama, you own ashama? <laughs> really okay guys we're moving to our next segment which is shade of the week guys this week see, oh I, I would say something like i can't <laughs> i can't took far for this shade hey um, the shade that no, is, I, I ask him, <laughs> and the blessing this shade is going to. Is How do people some, even think? I ask them all. This Twitter streets, eh? Hmm. So, Sheldon, <laughs> Asem has been on a Twitter rant, you know, as usual. <laughs> and, because <laughs> Sheldon wanted to know. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> pew, pew, pew. <laughs> Guys, that's Asem on Twitter. Asem fans are called what? And I just for as I'm perform boobs over books. <laughs> imagine the person's there were boobs just over imagine. books. Also, they are asymptomatic. <laughs> they don't show any symptoms, <laughs> but clearly, I'm more yare. <laughs> so asymptomatic. No one is yellow. Asymptomatic. <laughs> Guys, if we just want to have fun or laugh, go on Twitter at Assem World and look at his media. You will die. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> <laughs> He's fighting a non-existent fight. So clearly, I'm oh here, but they don't show symptoms. Assem Tomatic, guys. We'll be right back. <laughs> Hi guys, it's still trending GH and we hope you are letting us know what you think of all the stories we've done so far. Hey, our favorite sister. 
na no pensem ye nu ab ye nu aba celebrity social media queen social media commentator and ye just amba na na no sim show tv show radio show show instagram live i am so show signed a deal with uh, a company, PI Industries, I think she was their brand ambassador oh. in P Mobile. And I think the ambassador deal has ended. Mm -hmm. And she had some vulgar words to say to them on her Instagram page. It's, you know, the case is that something has gone wrong mm -hmm. somewhere. And she had some vulgar words to say to them, and they've, they've sued her for 500,000 Ghana cities. Mm -hmm. And I had the amano. And according to the rate, she's supposed to appear in court um, within eight days mm. after they've issued it to her. Mm. And, you know, videos were circulating of her at the police station. And so apparently, so I think she probably disobeyed. The, the eight day direct, the eight days directive. Right. So she was invited. invited yeah. yeah. But she came out, you know, as usual. Nobody arrested me. I was only invited. What is the difference between you? We're still at a police station. Auntie. Auntie. I mean, I feel like, not that um, I, I am a day, like, like in a way, but I feel like there should be some example, because if he has been doing this for years, whether it was TV Africa, whether it was um, like EIB, I said, anybody she has been involved with, yes, later the end, on, she, she always has Sister Shua, we must share my patrol. In the year day, because honestly, yeah, we get that you are a very open person. You are very, you know, but it's too much. Yeah, but Charlie, Calm this should down. be a lesson. Me, that this should be a lesson. I, I hope this businessman goes all the way. Right, goes all the way, and then she has to pay. And then when she pays, hopefully she will learn a lesson out of it and know how to deal with people without you know being vulgar or even being on social media about okay. it. Because as a business person, like it's even for me, I feel like the downside of all of this is the is your 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 reputation as even a brand ambassador. If other brands want to work with you, they'll be like, hey, if we work with this lady and things go bad, this is what will get at the end so exactly. it will make you miss out on a lot of things but we never know maybe that is also what is bringing you the um, the deals and so you right. keep on going at it but charlie and yeah and yeah oh it's safe yeah and yeah and yeah and yeah instagram no yeah yeah but check a car oh and so who the short even the dodgy jiska okay so we have views but i'm out for businesses and reputation ads taking tea okay guys we're moving on to our next segment for this week which is hot picks of the week and thank god they are men today because we are tired we are tired of, <laughs> of the women slay <laughs> they slay all the time but <laughs> the men always come simple but dashing i mean they give it to you on the low but on the hotness level so yeah. this week we have italian mafia <laughs> bakupe bakupe <laughs> yeah, papi <laughs> kujo fashion inventor papi we know you are going to watch this <laughs> papi kujo Hello, from Abel TV. Eh, hey, papi, why the catch you say cocoa on sir? He's wearing nail polish. Just say, no, it's more swag. Papi, they give us and the the the, the face. You are serving Italian model vibes. Ultra, take it hot like chicken vandalism. <laughs> That's papi's favorite. Papi's he favorite. His favorite social media person. And next is also. M da 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 King of Rings, just a King of Afrocentric Man, vibe. Mansa Mansa kind kind. <laughs> Afrocentric king, that the hat, <laughs> that the GTP, or the GTP pam kaba. But this kaba is kama kaba. Ah, kaba no a classy. A classy. Hot picks of the week, guys. Tell us your favorite to do between the two. Will you take you know street casual cool papi kujo, or will you take rich daddy rings? Kabasle, Masa Musa, and Dodo Dotty Dot. Let us know, <laughs> Papi or Manifest, who are you going for? Already, you know, I'm going for Papi Kujo. Oh, I'm, I'm going for Afrocentric. Papi Kujo. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back, guys.
Hi guys, welcome back. It's Still Trending GH. We're talking all the trends from Ghana and beyond. Do not forget to download the app, tap, tap, send, to send money from Europe to your family and friends here in Ghana. Use the code AMELD and get five pounds or euros off your first transaction. AMELD, you people use it so that we will get our share, okay? That's my niche is reminding you again. <laughs> Yes, that's me. That was your reminder. <laughs> but guys, let's move on to our next story for this week, which has to do with the man Abuwa. Abuwa. And your delegate for no Abu Delegate will show you. Hey, fear fear delegate. <laughs> that is all we can say. So after musical, Abuwa wanted to rule again yeah he wanted to be on top of things again so he went took forms filled it submitted and started campaigning yo, 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 yo. to run for the mpp in the asante achim south constituency <laughs> oh yeah campaigning in a oh yeah bbr but social media, especially Twitter users, say, Obo won't call. You shall not go because you have, have not seen. even you have not even finished accounting for the musical money. Money. Oh, call parliament. I could just go and take nyafu nyafu. Now we phone and you can see bill. That is what social media users were saying. I didn't say this. <laughs> so the time came. Obo went, <laughs> and then the delegates. Showed him, but, but who did that to him? Father, no, yeah, 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 yeah. No, see, election say if you count your eggs too quickly, your basket will fall, will fall and everything. No, will because, break. because in I think as at when he had the powder on, he was declared the winner, winner. in that area where where they were counting uh. at that time. No. From what they had received from the other areas in the in the constituency at that time, that you know they mm. they, they they got that figure and he was leading. They thought you know that was the end. They didn't know that there were I I, I heard there were about two or three more areas mm, that were they... still being counted. So, some media people already reported I that. Mean, no, he seemed he seemed called. Yeah, he seemed called yeah, and said yeah. that. Yes, we are winning. Even TV stations, mm. a Peace FM, TV3, City, you know, Bernard Adler was holding a show and even ended by saying that um, the MPP would have um, um, a, a tough time on their hands because they have a lot of new people yeah. coming into mm. parliament like Obua and so forth and so forth. So as at the time that, you know, those reporting from the constituency, you know, brought in the figures, yes. he was clearly winning. And so he was, you know, ecstatic yeah, and, you yeah. know, everybody was like, Obua has won, Obua has won. And then the delegate said, no, 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 no. Hold, Hold up. up. <laughs> Hold up. Parliament in the way now and see be our next year, uh, next election, next four years. So a ball loss, and it wasn't by such a huge margin to you know for he a first well. time, for yes, a first right? time, you know, contesting, yeah. he was able to pull such numbers that even the MPP, you know, people were even saying that for someone yeah. who is coming for the first time and with all the you mm -hmm. know, the father COVID and all of yeah. those things, a lot of people. We're not sure that he'll be able to pull yeah, such figures, really well. but he got over 296. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. That, that's, that's a huge a number. So our next segment, mm -hmm. All Moment, this week is coming all the way from Father's Day mm -hmm. celebration. Finally, finally, someone has finally <laughs> outdoored. <laughs> yes. We've in got to most, see the king. In the most, in the most, I would say it didn't really trend if they had announced it. When yeah, it happened, yeah. we would have been excited about yeah. it. But people were not really... Yeah, I mean, especially when people had, you know, it's like... Uh, anyways, yeah. I feel like this year's Father's Day, though, like, on social media, it looked like it was really well celebrated. If actually they celebrated their fathers as much as they did on social media. I feel like this year, our celebrities, you know, we got to see a lot of fathers, fathers and, and you know, kids, their kids yeah. and all of that. But our favorite out of the bunch is obviously the... Michael Owusu Jr. MJ, the MJ, king. The king. <laughs> the official unveiling <laughs> or adoring of... Baby, baby sack. So now Hi. there's there's skin sack, there's baby sack. Hi, 
Hi guys, welcome back. Our last story, of course, is all the updates surrounding the coronavirus situation in Ghana. Yep. And the president has, of course, as usual, come up with new mm -hmm. measures. Mm -hmm. And all the borders are back to school, yeah. final year students yeah. from senior high school, junior high school, and uh, the universities yeah. were asked to go back. Um, he instructed that all the, uh, some of, most of the schools, I mean, all of them should be provided with masks. Uh, hand washing, washing, you know, all of those things. Yeah. But what, what got a lot of people excited was the fact that he said government is going to consume the fees for WASI students, and it got a lot of people confused as well. Because if you have a conversation with any of the final year students who are preparing they've for WASI, already they've already done their registration, they've already paid for most of the things that they are yeah. supposed to pay for. Mm -hmm. And also, people were also saying that free senior high school was it not already covering, covering. the WASI and yeah. all of that? So where is the where's the campaign a lot of people feel like recently the updates are more of promises what campaign, we are doing yeah. just trying to this look is right those. in the light of you know people and yeah. all of that what do you think do you think that the president has turned Ghana's you know covid situation because there's really nothing into, no nothing new happening yeah it's always almost like, like a repetition yeah, of, of what the, has already been said and okay. also now um it's been um it's been issued that wearing of nose masks is mandatory and you can't you know be, be fine be fined and all of that and even when you're sitting in your car <laughs> hey and yeah, so they'll come, so, I don't so know. okay, so we are here now in the in the room without no smarts. You know, that was the conversation that a lot right. of people were having. If this is my personal own, space. Yeah. Does that mean I can be fined? What 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 are the what are the clear, you know, interpretation of Our these new... Somebody wrote on social media that he saw a policeman harassing somebody in their car and then someone without a nose mask was walking by. Instead of you to be focusing yeah, the on person that who person would spread it exactly. quickly. You are focusing on the person who is in their car. Yeah. Doesn't make sense. I, I, but Accra Poly, as soon as the school opened, Accra Technical University, yeah. an NSS personnel caught the virus positive. Yeah. So yeah. we don't really know what is going on, yeah. there, whether the school has been shut down yeah. or... Yeah, and I feel this was, this were the concerns a lot of people had that, you know, uh, forced government to say that let's close down. And yeah. we've still not found a, 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 a secure way of, you know, you know, um, stopping the spread, mm -hmm. and we still want to, you know, quickly go back into resuming mm -hmm. things as they were. Hopefully, they don't bring any, you yeah. know, worse situation. And there are more people, <coughs> catch more prominent figures catching the virus. Yeah. Kolebu CEO yeah. caught the virus. Yeah. Um, Naho Clinic. Naho Clinic, in yeah. Um, Gary Al Smith of Multimedia yes. caught the virus. But has been discharged, thank God. Yeah. Uh, That's the COVID situation. And good news is we are, we uh, are recording. <laughs> more recoveries and discharges <laughs> from 3,000 to, to 10,000 10, to which 11, has caused 000. a lot of alarms and I feel like even though the ministry you know that's a lot of press briefing to educate people they are not explaining into detail yeah. how these new numbers are being recorded so this num and new what numbers according is going to on. Uh, you know news uh, items I've read is per the WHO World Health Organization yeah. directive. Yeah. So people who are asymptomatic and they've yeah. already been isolated for 14 days yeah. should be discharged. Yeah. So I think that's why they, yeah. you know, so if yeah. you already, I think there were already people who had the virus but were asymptomatic and mm. were isolating in their homes. Yeah. So what of those people too? Yeah, do you, do you, do you add them, add them and it? also? I and think I, I think even, if, even initially when the first jump started, when they started the WHO protocol, mm -hmm. they didn't explain. They just recorded it all as recovery. Recoveries. So it had to yeah. you know, spark conversation before they now come. And then in the update, they were like recovery slash discharge. But all in all... We are we are getting recoveries. We are getting people discharged, and hopefully and we are getting would, more positive. More positive, but hopefully the positive will become <laughs> negative. Yeah, and and we are getting more, more deaths too, yeah, which is that, sadly. Know, sad. Yeah. Hopefully they all end. But yeah. <laughs> Anyways, guys, we are done. But you know, we have to give you the throwback of this week. We are throwing it back to when they were on the moon before they became the stars, and this week before they became presidents. <laughs> this week. <laughs> Before they became the president <laughs> of the youth that everybody likes, their swag. He was already a swag on in the past. In the past. <laughs> Our throwback this week is former president John Dramani Mahama mm -hmm. and his lovely wife, mm -hmm. Lodina Mahama. Oma Brim. Oma Brim. Oma Brim. This is the Michelle Obama 
and all of them. Obama of Look at Ghana. Nana and his wife. Yeah. Oh, Rebecca. Rebecca's gown, dear. Charlie. Nah, it does. So. A vintage. <laughs> it's <laughs> oh, a vintage. Wait, that time, no. Oh, this is a wood shirt. Wood shirt. Yeah. Hey, and Koje Kufoy, his wife, yeah, guys, yeah. our man Penny, they used to be, they used to be fine boys, they used to be fine boys yeah. and girls, fine men and women, and they Sorry. still are, and we are grateful for all their contributions, you know, in helping Ghana's governance and all of that, so yeah, basically that's it, that's our throwback for this week, but yeah. guys, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, please, see, you see that button there, <laughs> crack it, crack it like this, Crank, 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 and turn on notifications so that you get notified on any news item we drop right on this channel. Yeah, I'm your TV official, guys, on YouTube. Follow us everywhere. Everywhere. Social media, I'm your TV. And of course, www.amyourdebra.com for all your celebrity and lifestyle content. <laughs>